Cummins Inc. made a large impact into the future of engineering by partnering with Nesby, the National Society of Black Engineers, to support the Summer Engineering Experience for Kids, or SEEK, program in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The three-week program is geared toward African-American and other underrepresented elementary school students and gives local third through fifth graders an opportunity to learn and experience engineering, math, and science through weekly competitive projects and guidance from Nesby mentors and Cummins volunteers. Each day, volunteers from the Cummins Shoreview and Fridley locations spent their time at SEEK to provide their professional, real-world expertise to the mentors and kids. In fact, Executive Director of Power Systems Engineering, Gary Johansson, and Vice President of U.S. Diversity Initiatives, Lori Thompson, volunteered as judges for one of the weekly competitions. I'm really glad that we were afforded the opportunity to be the pilot for the Nesby Seek program in Power Systems and up here in the Twin Cities. There's definitely a need in the community for uh, underserved you know, parts of the metro area. And uh, we've got tons of people, employees here and teammates here at Cummins. They have passion. And the Nesby Seek program is really important to us at Cummins for a couple of different reasons. One is we just need a more diverse talent pipeline to solve the tough problems that we have in uh, meeting our customers' needs for the future. And you know, on the corporate responsibility side, our initiative is around social justice and how we help strengthen the community of where we operate is a really, uh, really, really powerful force in what we're doing. So to me, this is one of the best uh, kind of projects we can be working on because it has so many benefits for us and for the community. Through the course of the camp, I have seen kids who come in and the first day, like I hand him a math worksheet and he just starts crying. Mr. T, I can't do this. And I have to sit down with him and go through it. And then by the end of the camp, he had told me that he had signed up to go to a math camp at the end of that summer. So I can definitely say the kids, like, they grow, whether it be, like, with public speaking, whether it be with, like, personal confidence with mathematics and stuff like that or science. The kids always are, are growing. And they're young, so they grow fast. When, um a child from a community of color or a child that identifies as, as, a, as a person of color. It's really important when you see people that look like you um, in a position that you've never seen before. You know, we were asking one kid that was in the office just yesterday, you know, what, do you, what does you want to be before you came to see? Is he a truck driver? Why? Because my dad's a truck driver. Our sponsors come in as professionals. And these are professionals of color, and these are our kids of color that are looking up to these to these people. Like, all right, my my dad is a truck driver. My dad, you know, makes wings at a local wing shop. But this is an engineer, and now you know my scope of what I can be is so much broader than um, what I see at home. There's not a lot of women in, in engineering, and it's just been a male-dominated field, and it's been pitched to males because it's very hands-on, you know, math-oriented, things like that, um, very technical, and it's kind of like the men's field. Um, but I love that you have SEEK site directors that are also female, and you have mentors um, that are also female that shows not only our female students, but our male students that this, this is a diverse career field. You can have a, a female um, mechanical engineer and a male mechanical engineer. They can do the exact same job. My experience this week has been really fun. We got to build RCMs, which are remote controlled um, machines. And me and my friend, we actually built a robot. And it didn't move. That's the only upsetting part about this week was that it didn't move. But it like, picked things up and dropped them, so that was really fun. I want to be an engineer because I like to learn about what kind of engineers and I want to build stuff. On a scale of one through 10, I'll give it an eight and a half, how much fun I had. When I came here, I learned about software engineers like making games, like what we're gonna do next week. So I think that's what I wanna do. We're doing it on a computer and recording, and we're gonna be making some video games. I wanna be um, an engineer that builds planes and then drives them, because I really like flying stuff on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a 9, actually, of how much fun I've had. I really want to come here next year, and I'm really excited too. I want to be a computer engineer also, and learning about the parts of a car. 
I'm very excited for next year. Well, I learned that their enthusiasm and their excitement about STEM and about maybe being an engineer someday, it starts at a pretty early age. And if we give them the opportunity, uh, they're gonna jump on it. From the volunteers, I really learned that they've got the same passion that I do about helping these kids have an opportunity that maybe they don't otherwise. And it was really cool just to see how they interact with the kids. It's been a phenomenal experience. We've got almost 100 kids in the program, not bad for our first year. And I'm hoping next year it's two or three times the size of this and that the word gets around and you know the kids stay on this course and they follow an academic career through through uh, all the way through to the college and um, that we see them we see them at Cummins in a few years.